My name is Jacob and a few months ago I was able to build up to a weighted pull up of almost 200%. That being a pull up with almost my own body weight added to me in additional weight. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah. Now this might surprise you, but one of the key factors in my strength training leading up to this achievement was the rest time I used between sets. And interestingly, one of the things I've observed with many of the people I've coached or trained with is that they tend to get this point completely wrong. Emotional, damn it. Also, it's a good time to make this video since recently I've been bombarded with questions about this exact topic. Same, same, but different but still same. Anyway. So let's uncover the rest time mistake people tend to make and how to fix it so you can make greater progress in your strength training. Also, when you're done watching this video right here so you know exactly how long to rest in order to maximize your strength gains, you can check out this video on screen right here in order to discover the complete system that I used to get to a roughly 2x body weight pull up. With that said, let's get after it. If you truly want to skyrocket your progress, click the top link in the description down below and join our brotherhood of passionate athletes that all want to take their strengths to new levels and unlock awesome skills as well. In the community, we have live calls, courses, monthly challenges and more. So join now whilst we still have the chance. Click the top link in the description down below and I'll see you inside. Cheers. All right, folks, how can we maximize our strength gains through the use of appropriate rest times? First and foremost, the biggest mistake that I see people tend to make is that there's a mismatch between their training goals and the appropriate rest times. What I mean by this is that I've seen people who train for strength, but they use really short rest times, and I've seen people who train for endurance, but they use really long rest times. Now, if you're really interested in the aspect of endurance, let me know in the comments down below, and also feel free to check out this video on screen somewhere right now. But... For today, our focus is going to be strength. Now, in order to motivate the discussion about strength, I really want to bring forth this quote that I love, and it goes, it's okay to be weak, it's not okay to stay weak. And this is really cool, because it means that whatever your starting point, it doesn't really matter. It's all about how much progress you're making and how far you're able to go over the next couple of weeks, months, right? It's all about the trajectory you're at. If you're at a really high point, but you're stagnant, it doesn't really matter. If you're at a pretty low point, but you've got a good slope on you, right? Like you're, you're going upwards, brilliant. So, with this in mind, how can we make sure we alter our rest times in order to maximize our strength gains, right? Well, short story long, the mistake most people tend to make is that they're resting way too little. So I have two simple points I like to keep in mind when I, whenever I do my strength training sessions. So just keep it simple, keep it basic. First and foremost is that I want to rest minimum three to four minutes between sets. This guarantees that I have this sort of minimum target met, that I'm able to perform quite adequately, regardless of the other factors that I'll now be covering, right? Three to four minutes is pretty darn all right. You're pretty all right rested for most exercises. And so whenever I hit this minimum threshold, I know that I have pretty, pretty all right energy in the tank ready to perform for my next set. And this is important when we're doing strength training because it's not really important how much volume you do in total. If you do a lot, a lot of sets, in fact, a lot of junk volume, as it's called, right, it won't really help for your strength, right? You'll just tear your body down more than you need to, right? In fact, more than you, you'll gain anything from. In strength training, our primary focus is to do relatively few but very high quality intense sets and reps. And in order to ensure that those sets and reps are of high quality, you need to be well rested so you can perform at an elite level, right? So second point that I pair this with is that I want to be physically and mentally prepared for my next set. And so what this means in, in practice is pretty simple. Sometimes you might want to rest only about three to four minutes between sets. So if you've hit that minimum threshold and you're mentally and physically prepared for going up to the bar or whatever exercise you have, Go for it. Brilliant. You've earned it, right? You've done your rest. However, other times, if you've rested three to four minutes, but you're mentally and physically drained, you might want to do longer rest period. So maybe six, seven, or even eight minutes. Note that it is obviously possible to overdo it on this side as well, because if you rest for too long, you'll, you you'll get cold and you'll have to do a second warm up, and it's not really efficient in this way either, right? But you have quite a bit of leeway here, you have some bandwidth to, to go off of. So as long as you're under more or less 10 minutes, it shouldn't really be a huge issue. But this depends a bit on age and other factors, yada, yada, yada. Bottom line is this, you want to base it on your performance, right? Base it, base it on how you feel. So make sure you're mentally and physically ready for your next set. And in order to have, generally speaking, all right strength training, I would absolutely recommend minimum three to four minutes if you're serious about making progress. A lot of sessions, I end up having five minutes. Sometimes I've even gone close to six. Usually I don't end up with a lot more than that, but that is sort of like the range I'm within. Four and a half, five, maybe even closer to six minutes. So test it out at your own peril. With that said, 
Don't forget to join the free community, top link in the description down below. Goodbye.